you know, you got Kevin Gates to just drop something on his intro. What did he say? Go check out the intro. But I'm going to show you how great I am. For the record, I am Muslim first. Where should I begin? I'm a general. I'm on the men. ABPSN. I'm... Yeah, we on boss talk one on one. Yeah, we gonna talk. So when I when I talk, I'm just really yeah. pretty much trying to understand. I don't really it's know. It's a bridge, and that's what we need. Our youth need our elders, and our elders gonna need the youth. You know, and uh, but like I said, like I just want them to see see what we doing. Yeah. Stop looking for you. Got so many people that like rep this in some type of way. I can just especially in the entertainment history. You know, you got Kevin Gates to just drop something on his intro. What did he say? Go check out the intro. But I'm going to show you how great I am. Carry For the record, I am Muslim first. Where should I begin? I'm a general. I'm one of the men. ABPSN. You know it it was about the Muslimic faith or was it about, it was the, about the black peace stone? Like or was said, it? Muslim Let me know what I'm looking just, for. Muslim faith is just not ours. That's to get that straight. So Correct. I don't want of that course. to be. But, you know... Who you get your teachers from, and or who you wanna, who guide you, that's a blessing. But he speak on, he speak on Islam. He a Muslim first, and I him do a lot of that to, with with that brother. And he also speak on being part and partial of this thing of ours. You know what I'm saying? And my point is, I never met him before. So he's speaking on it, but he never, you never met him. I never met him. You know, and and you want you you Jeff Ford's. Grandson. grandson and and that don't mean you know because it, it could be different i could be his grandson and not active yeah but sense. still you 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 yeah you right because like i said i'm not a fan of do you because of, of just <laughs> of popularity yeah i'm a fan of who's gonna be what you stand for listen man we had a i had a tola marv on on an episode and a tola marv said that he spoke on chris brown Mm. Representing the Pyrus, mm. and he said, "You know, you nigga, you niggas did not even been in these areas, don't know these neighborhoods." Mm -hmm. He say, "Y'all think cause you buy you buying guns don't help? You need to do something to help our community and Definitely. our people if you're gonna represent, you know, Definitely. the the Pyrus. You ain't helping your neighborhood. Yeah, all this." All these dudes that's claiming Pyru, uh, Chris Brown, all of these other dudes that using the label and not one studio for people to go do rap at, but you'll spend $25,000 in a strip club. I mean, we getting used, not used, misused. Wow. How you use, you can't use a cracker's name and they don't get paid for it, huh? And that thing went crazy on my channel yeah. because people looked at it as he was telling them, he need, yeah. and he did say it. He said, Nick, check in is yeah. what he said. So how you use Pyru? How do you use Compton? And you ain't been there. Nigga, check in. And that's really, and we try not to, <laughs> and that's really what it is. And it's like, it's not just him like you were here. I'm just saying how big this thing get. Yeah. I was just randomly listening to NBA Youngboy. Okay. And um, it was a song, I want to say, I got to find it for you, but uh, he, he speak on Jeff Ford. And, and He did? And, yeah, it's a song that nobody really probably called all the way because they don't know. Be some killing without killing. Oh, my bounty blood is out of right because the ladies was trending. Jeff for almighty black people. I started learning my history. Had no, no, no. I, didn't, I ain't heard about her. Yeah, it's definitely not been a new song. It it's an uh, older song, but he spoke on yeah. like your grandfather. Yeah, like. he spoke. He said uh, that's where he got his started getting his lessons from, in a sense. You know, like he was checking into that. But uh, I say that to say, like, it's a lot of people that's catching on to it, but they not getting it the right way. You know, no, all, they need, all they need to do is So when you heard him say your granddad's name, did you how did that make you feel? It'd be two things. It'd be like Be honest. <laughs> it'd be I mean when they said I know they mean it in respect. That's okay. first of all. They but don't they mean don't it really... out of disrespect. And uh he was just speaking on that's it was it was funny though. It was kinda it was it was I don't know, wild a little bit because it was like he said that's where he was getting his lessons from in the sense of his new thinking, his teaching. So, but uh, how when when your dad when your uh, when your probably ain't personally getting from but these lessons just the, the here, way he hearing hearing you know, things. But he said, you know, I, I can't tell you exactly how he meant it because I ain't him. Of course, but he said whoever his teacher was was a false. So whoever was actually bringing that stuff to him probably down the line wasn't a hundred. You know what I'm saying? Who that was, I don't know. So you know do you think saying? it was on rap or you think it was on real? 50, I think it was both, you uh, know, but I think it was both because more rap because you still ain't come in touch base with, with the real. Correct. 
Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.